I think I've told you guys this so many times, but for those who do not know, the largest land animal on earth is the African bush elephant. This enormous proboscidean grows to a weight of over 10 tons and a shoulder height of up to four meters. That's more than two adult men stacked on top of each other. Although this does make it the largest land animal on earth today, it isn't the largest ever. You might think the largest land mammal ever was Parasaurotherium, which weighed an average of 11 tons, rivaling the largest members of Loxodonta africanum. However, this oligocene relative of the rhinoceros might no longer hold such a title, despite its enormous maximum size. Since 2015, the title has been changed from Parasaurotherium to the genus Paleoloxodon. Now, my channel is no stranger to this genus, which is commonly known as the straight-tusked elephants. As I've discussed, dwarf versions of these elephants from the Mediterranean islands. They are the smallest elephants ever, so it's surprising that this genus also contains the largest elephants ever. The specific species that is the largest land animal since the dinosaurs is Paleoloxodon nematicus. I've already discussed this elephant plenty of times in the past, but it's never gotten its own video from me, so here it is, kind of. Paleoloxodon nematicus lived in what is today southern Asia, with the remains being known from India, Malaysia, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, and possibly China. However, the specimens known from China are not so certainly assigned to Paleoloxodon nematicus, as they could be from a separate species, adding another one to the already established dozen or so species. The taxonomy of Paleoloxodon is interesting, especially when you consider that the genus has a very close modern-day relative, the African forest elephant, scientifically known as Loxodontocyclosis, which is the third largest land animal alive today. Interestingly, the African forest elephant is more closely related to Paleoloxodon nematicus and all other Paleoloxodon species than it is to the African bush elephant, the other surviving African elephant species. However, the African forest elephant isn't the direct ancestor of P. nematicus, as the earliest species of Paleoloxodon, P. recchi, split off from the clade containing Loxodonta around 1.8 million years ago. Paleoloxodon recchi, or the African straight-tusked elephant, is believed to have been the ancestor of Paleoloxodon anticulus, which then evolved into Paleoloxodon nematicus. One thing all mainland species of Paleoloxodon native to Afro-Eurasia share in common are their long tusks with Paleoloxodon anticuus, Paleoloxodon recchi, and Paleoloxodon nematicus all having tusks that possibly approach 4 metres. Obviously, as their common name suggests, all species of mainland Paleoloxodon definitely had straight tusks, with only a slight curve at the tip. Another trait shared by a lot of mainland Paleoloxodon species, aside from their long, straight tusks, is their massive size. With more than half a dozen species in this one genus dwarfing the largest African bush elephants alive today. Let's go straight to Paleoloxodon nematicus's largest size before discussing the average as there is a little bit of interesting history regarding a femur bone, discovered, described, and eventually lost all in 1834, that measured 1.6 metres in length. The 2015 description places the shoulder height of the individual at around 5.2 metres or 17 feet tall, with a weight of up to 22 tonnes. Given that the femur was isometrically scaled from smaller individuals with potentially different proportions, plus the fact that the femur was lost over 190 years ago, 
Many don't think this is an accurate measurement at all. In 2023, a more reliable measurement placed the maximum weight of the large individual with the large femur at 18 to 19 metric tonnes, which is still thrice the weight of male African elephants and a few tonnes heavier than the largest Parasaratherium specimen. This 18.5 tonne maximum weight estimate is further supported by a 2024 study that looked at five individuals of Paleoloxodon nematicus with a weight range of 13.2 to 18.5 tonnes, with the 18.5 tonne individuals represented having a shoulder height of 4.5 metres maximum about two feet taller than the tallest African elephant ever. Although nowhere near as big of a gap as portrayed in the 2015 paper, the size difference between Parasaratherium and Paleoloxodon nematicus was still one and a half tons maximum. So Paleoloxodon nematicus is still technically the largest land mammal to have ever existed. Paleoloxodon nematicus was also larger than any land predator to have ever existed, including the largest megatheropods like T. rex. And in terms of non-sauropod dinosaurs, it was only rivaled by Shantungosaurus giganteus, which I might make a future video about if you guys are interested. It's unknown exactly why Paleoloxodon nematicus went extinct, but we do know when it went extinct. Anywhere from 25,000 to 50,000 years ago in the late Pleistocene epoch, around halfway through the Pleistocene megafaunal extinction event, which saw a global reduction in megafaunal populations in both their density and diversity. It's unknown if Paleoloxodon nematicus was wiped out by climate change, habitat loss, human hunting, or something else like a pandemic. But whatever it is, it definitely drove this animal to extinction long before modern day civilization arose. Although very early humans definitely could have still seen Paleoloxodon nematicus in its final days. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on what I could potentially improve upon.